Okay, let's do some prime factorization here. So basically what we need to do is uh, use a prime factoring. We need to know prime numbers, right? And what is a factor. So th those are previous uh, topics for this lesson. So basically, uh, we there is one method, which is this one. Divided by two, it will be 30. Divided by two, 15. Divided by three, it's five. Divided by five, is one. Once you hit the one, you're done. You did it. Now, which are the factors, the, the prime factors for 60? It's 2, 2, 3, and 5. So, 2, 2, 3, and 5, right? Now, there is another method. It's called like the 3 methods or something. And it's like uh, 60 is like 6 times 10. And then the 6, it will be 2 times 3. And the 10 is 2 times 5. So, at the end, we got the same uh, prime factors. So, 2... Two, three, and five. Okay, we, we got that. Let's do it for the twenty-five. So, divided by five, it will be twenty-five. Divided by five, it's five. Divided by five is one. Done. So five, five, and five. Here, I can do uh, one hundred and twenty-five is twenty-five times five, and then this twenty-five is five times five. So I have one, two, and three. Three, five. Okay, the same. Um, so here I have another one, 54, so I can do half of 54, it's 27, 27 divided by 3, it's 9, divided by 3 is 3, divided by 3 is 1, so done. 2, 3, 3, 3, those are the prime factors of 54. If I do like this, it could be 9 times 6, 9 times 6, then the 9 is 3 times 3, and the 6 is 3 times 2, right? And I have the same factors. I have 2, 3, 3, 3. So 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. Okay? So which method you like best? Uh, let me know in the comments. And I'll give you some small homework. So let's try your best with those five numbers. And tell me which would be easier or better to use for the number 800. Okay? So I hope you like the video and hope that's useful for your uh, for your class. Have a great day.